All right, so now let's start uh, building this website. So in first video, we are going to create all layouts, all the views necessary. So first thing first, uh, we'll do it from scratch. So before building, I would like to say it will be helpful for those who know Laravel and Vue.js, uh, basic level knowledge. So I'm assuming that, that you know basic of Laravel and Vue.js, you know how to install. Uh, if not, you can go through Laracast websites website there is uh, both tutorial on Laravel, uh, Laravel and Vue.js so we'll be using new Laravel version 6 so let's get started let's open up terminal and I'll create a new project using Laravel new and I'll name it webdemi a bit cool name right okay udemy kind of thing and by the way, I've installed Laravel installer beforehand. I hope you know about it. It is Laravel uh, installer like uh, Laravel CLI, you can say. You have to pull it uh, using Composer first. And uh, you can find that on installation section over here, like so, okay? So once you install that, you have access to this Laravel command and I will... So I've already installed it, so it is saying already exist. So wait for it to finish and then you'll have by the way i use laragon and i'm inside this www folder and i'm installing that project here now we'll open up it on vs code first let's cd into that and then we'll open up it on code okay next thing uh, let's go to dot env and configure our database so let's name it webdemi looks like i've already done it and username root password is nothing in my case so let's go to laragon database and and let's create new database create new database web demi and hit ok yeah already exists ok here we go now let's open it up by the way in laragon you can directly do like you can uh, reload it and it will create a virtual host automatically for you with name of your project and followed by dot test tests you can just reload it and once it is reloaded you can go to me dot test yeah there we go okay next step we are going to do is we will install uh, auth scaffolding so since this is laravel 6 uh, we do not have make auth command instead we have option to install a separate package first party package which will scaffold uh, exact like same like we did we used to do in make auth command so first you need to pull in this package composer require you know what I'll do it. I'll do it in PSV Storm. I like it for big project. So open up terminal over here and just run this command. So it will install this package. Wait for it to finish to save some time. I've already finished it. So let's right jump into next step. So next uh, we have to generate the scaffolding. So uh, since we are using view in this uh, project, we'll use this command PSP artisan UI and then followed by name of framework that we want to use. You can do react or view. So now let's do send it view scaffolding. And after that, you need to uh, do npm install and then run npm dev. Okay. so. First, we need to install all the packages inside package.json. So if you see this command generated couple of new files. So let's go to terminal and run this command npm install and npm run dev. So it will first uh, finish this command and then run npm run dev. All right. Okay, so once that is done, let's visit our website. And you should see like login and register okay so at this point we are okay and now let's start uh, by working in front page so first thing 
open up web.php and on front page we'll load our front view so i'll call it front and we will create this inside resources views front dot plate okay so let's get rid of everything okay so now inside front first thing we'll extend extends layout dot app and then inside section so here we'll create some layout so since we are using bootstrap and view so i find it easier if we use a bootstrap view instead of creating several component it will be easier or if you can uh, you can directly use uh, bootstrap so i just like to use bootstrap bootstrap view so let's install bootstrap view so we don't need bootstrap because it is already installed in our laravel application we just need npm install uh, we don't need view as well we just need bootstrap view so let's open up terminal and do npm install trap view and once that is pulled we need to specify it inside app.js and we need this so let's go okay installed let's go to uh, app.js inside resources js app.js and we are importing view here up here okay here we'll import this bootstrap view and then we'll use it as plugin and also we'll need this style so since we are so since we are importing already importing bootstrap.css so this is default and we need to use that so this bootstrap view css like so okay so once that is done we have this bootstrap uh, we have uh, all these components available to us so we can use these components so i would like to use this jumbotron so i'll just copy this and go to front dot plate and i will create a new section and over here i'll put it let's go and refresh and we should see okay once that is done we need to compile a set so npm we can do npm run watch there we go so we got this nice jumbotron over here okay now that jumbotron section is on we can now put it here of card cards which will show the featured uh, featured courses so we can see uh, we can look for card and see if we can use any yeah looks like uh, we can use this deck of cards like so let's go to code and let's create another section for featured post and let's paste this minimize it let's go back and see okay next i will put a pricing table so here we got pretty nice pricing table so we can grab all html from here so we'll put it here so you know what i'll create a view component instead so i will call it pricing and that's it and then i will put all code inside pricing component so we have example component we'll duplicate that so by the way uh here is you can just components example component or you can create new view component let's create new one inside here so new file and i'll call it pricing dot view and then inside template we'll put that code that we just copied so here we'll not need any script so we'll need a style instead so a style will be scoped for this component only so a scoped will make uh, these styles only work for this component so we don't want any conflict so go to css and just copy everything from here 
into our pricing component all right so once that is done we need to register this component inside app.js resources app like so and here we have already installed example component now pricing pricing that's it and now let's go to so here we are including that pricing section and let's put it inside section i just like to organize it so in our front we should see that over here okay so i'll here um instead of this i'll say browse course and this will point to some route okay so at this point uh, we'll stop here and we'll start creating our database and controllers